today's topic is functions students usually ask what are functions it is a very new topic to secondary students before going to definition i try to explain the concept functions are like machines which give unique output for each of the input that fed into it but one should understand that each machine has certain inputs corresponding to which it gives unique output the inputs are nothing but the domain of the function and the outputs are the range of the function only those inputs are domain corresponding to which the function gives defined outputs okay functions can be understood as an operator between x and y c as x is fed as an input we get y as the corresponding output so you can think that this machine is a processing unit so if you input something the machine will process this portion and give an output say y so we consider an example say y is equal to fx fx is equal to x plus 2 okay y is equal to fx fx is equal to x plus 2 so our machine is this one this box so this is a rule which contains uh, fx is equal to x plus 2 if we input something say x is input here and it will give a value say y so as for example say x is equal to 2 is input here so 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 4 will be output so if we pay put x is equal to say 0 then 0 plus 2 is equal to 2 so the output will be then 2 now what is the definition of the function now friends let us consider that a and b be two non empty sets and f be the rule which associates each element of set a with unique element of set b then f is called the function from a to b here you see a graph is drawn here say a and b are two non empty sets a is called the domain of f f is the correspondence from a to b and b is called the codomain of f the set of elements of b which are the images of the elements of set a is called the range of f okay see that suppose we have two non empty sets respectively a and b a is the domain and b is the codomain and there is a correspondence from a to b say f there are some elements say x1 x2 and x3 and there are also many elements say y1 y2 y3 say y4 so if you have that x1 has the image y1 x2 has the image y2 x3 has the has the image y3 so these uh, set uh, formed by the elements of the images that means this part is known as the range this is the range so range is the subset of codomain now i am giving an example say again say there are two non empty sets respectively a and b okay there are some elements say p q r s and b has some elements say 1 2 3 4 okay p has the and there is a correspondence f from a to b if p has the image 1 q has the image 2 r has the image 3 
and S has also the image 3, then just looking this figure, can you tell us what are the domain range and codomain of the function f? Friends, the domain of f is equal to the elements of set A that is P, Q, R, S. The range of f is equal to the elements 1, 2, 3 that is the image set 1, 2 and 3. And what is the codomain? Codomain of the function f is equal to the set b that is all the elements of the set b here 1, 2, 3 and 4. Next we shall discuss about the graphical representation of function. Let f be a function with domain d so that y is equal to fx where x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable. Then the graph of the function y is equal to fx, y is equal to fx is the collection of points in the xy plane obtained by giving different values of x. Here x is abscess, I say this point is x comma fx. For each value of x there is a value of y, this is fx. It should be noted that in any function y is equal to fx, it, for each value of x there is one and only one value of fx. You may take another value of x say here, so you will get another fx. You can take here the value of x, you can get another value of fx. Okay. So in this graph y is equal to fx, if a straight line is parallel to y axis is drawn, it intersects the graph at one and only one point. Say a line which is parallel to y axis, you see that this line which is parallel to y axis cuts the y is equal to fx at only one point. I may draw another line here also which is also parallel to y axis and it again cuts the curve y is equal to fx at only one distinct point. Okay. Now friends, an element of A cannot be associated with more than one element in B. How? See that. Suppose this is a non-empty set A. And this one is another non-empty set B. There is a correspondence from A to B. So this is F. If A has some elements say P, Q, R. P, Q, R. And if you find there are also some elements A, B, C, D say. And P has two images here. A and B then you can't say that this is an example of function. This is not a function. This violates the definition of the function because P has two images, two distinct images. For this, this is not an example of function. Moreover, this is not a function because you see that R, R is not mapped here. R has no image in the set B. Q has no image in the set B. For this also, this is not a function. Again friend, if a vertical line cuts the graph, say I want to draw another graph, say this is the graph, okay, as shaped, this is x-axis, this one is y-axis. If a vertical line cuts the graph of the relation at more than one point, then the relation is not a function. I want to draw a line which is parallel to y-axis, say this one. Okay, so find that this line which is parallel to y axis is drawn here. It cuts the curve at three distinct points one, two, three. So, this is not actually a function because you know that uh, in the earlier curve um, y is equal to fx, if you draw uh, the lines parallel to y axis, cuts only at one distinct point. 
here we find that this curve is cut by this straight line in three distinct points. So this is not actually a function. And you know that for a single value of x you cannot get three images. For this also this is not a function. Thank you.